This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Thursday, the 5th of April. James Spann got an active weather day today, which is not that uncommon for this time of the year, but the weekend really looks nice and maybe frost next week. Wow, let's go in there and take a look. We'll start with some of the sky cam shots around the network at the somewhat ridiculous hour of 5 o'clock. There's a look right down 20th Street in downtown Birmingham, as seen from the top of the Daniel Building. Things are calm here. There's a look at downtown Jasper, as seen from the King Building. And way down south, there's our Gulf Shore Sky Cam overlooking the Hangout. That's from the Phoenix All Suites. Our upper low is getting close. It's on the Oklahoma and Arkansas border this morning, so the dynamic lift will definitely be better today. You know, storms have been kind of a no show the last couple of days for this end of the state. There's the uh, radar at 5.07 this morning, and yeah, that, uh, that's a tornado watch over there for parts of Louisiana, Arkansas, and Western Mississippi, we, let me just say up front here, we don't expect a big tornado problem here today. And you can see storms are developing that are severe uh, over West Mississippi, on back into Arkansas and Louisiana, so no doubt it's going to be an active weather day today. Here's a watch warning map. Uh, we've got freeze watches up. How about that for areas north of here, like the large part of the Midwest and the Great Lakes? Out west, some uh, snow issues there. In Montana, there's the tornado watch. That's until 9 o'clock this morning for parts of Mississippi, southeast Arkansas, Louisiana. And I think we will be under a severe weather watch today, but more than likely it's going to be a severe thunderstorm watch, not a tornado watch. Uh, and really this morning there's just very little instability uh, here. Uh, the good unstable air is over the Gulf, and of course that will be advecting northward as the day progresses. And the instability values are certainly sufficient for severe weather today, but the shear values are pretty marginal. And that's the reason we don't expect a tornado threat. There's the uh, outlook from the Storm Prediction Center for today and tonight. It's the standard slight risk for all 67 Alabama counties and parts of the adjacent states. And the tornado probabilities are very low, 2%. Could there be one? Yes, but I'd say it's very unlikely. And again, the, the main risk will be from hail and gusty winds. And, of course, we'll watch radar trends carefully. There's the rain for the next five days, valid through Monday evening of next week, suggesting amounts of about one-half inch. And uh, after today, things look pretty dry. Now, let's dig deep, you model fans. This is computer model output, the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon. This is the OZ run. There's the upper low near Memphis. And down below that, it will be an active day with showers and thunderstorms. High should be in the mid to upper 70s. Tomorrow looks gorgeous. We're going to turn cooler. The high in the low 70s. Dew points drop in the 40s. Nice and cool, low humidity. Saturday starting off the Easter weekend doesn't get much better. Sunday will start the day in the 40s. We'll wind up in the middle 70s. And Easter Sunday looks good. With bright sunny weather and, uh, again, highs up in the mid to upper 70s. Just perfect. All right, next week. We note the uh, cold air north of us. We stay dry despite a cold front coming in here. And hey, look at Tuesday. It is a high amplitude pattern. Ridge to the west, trough over the eastern U.S. And here comes the cold air with that 540 thickness line getting down toward Chattanooga. Of course, every run is going to look different on the specifics. But uh, no doubt it will be a much cooler day with highs dropping into the uh, mid-60s. And by Wednesday morning... We'll just have to see. Now, this run does not look as frosty as other runs. Uh, this would suggest a low in the upper 30s, frost possible, but it would not be especially widespread. Uh, it's just too early to be specific, but just keep in mind that's the old Blackberry winter we have every year in April with a chance of frost. And could we have a freeze for the colder valleys? Yes, but it's just too early to be specific. We'll be able to fine-tune that and get very specific over the weekend. But again, if we do have a frost issue, it is Wednesday morning of next week. And then Thursday of next week, a week from today, hey, look at the uh, short wave coming at us, and that looks a little wet and stormy. Uh, I don't think the instability will be all that great because the air is going to be pretty cool. And if, we, if it was unstable, that could be a big severe weather issue. But if that happens to be right, it would suggest a chance of rain and storms. We'll check the end of the forecast on the 20th of April. Hey, we have a big trough in the west, and if that's right, that's going to be wet, stormy, nasty, severe weather for Texas, Oklahoma, and the plains with Alabama being dry, which could very well happen. But again, there's no skill in 
a specific forecast that far in advance. It's all voodoo out there. We're just peaking. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video by 3.30 or so today. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News on TV or on the live stream at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.